When we have parentheses in our expression, we evaluate what is inside the parentheses first. In this case, these parentheses mean we have 3 times 4, and that thing, the 3 times 4, is then raised to the power of 2. So think of what's in the parentheses as a thing in and of itself. That 3 times 4 is a 12. So this is equivalent to 12 raised to the power of 2. And that means 12 times 12, or 144. We would have an entirely different answer if the parentheses weren't there. The parentheses tell us to do what is inside the parentheses first. Within a given set of parentheses, if there's any ambiguity, we follow the rules. We obey the order of operations within the parentheses. And that is, we do exponents first, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. In this example, we have to evaluate this expression, and the parentheses tell us to do what's in the parentheses first. So this, all of this, is raised to the power of 2. So we actually, in this case, end up doing the exponent last because of the parentheses. The parentheses tell us that this has to be evaluated first, and that gets raised to the power of 2. Within the parentheses, we have to obey the order of operations, which means I need to do the multiplication here before I do this subtraction. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. I'm going to keep it exactly the same, except instead of writing 4 times 2, I'm going to write 8. So this is the same thing. This is 10 minus 8 to the power of 2. And that's what I've written. I've just replaced the 4 times 2 with the 8. Notice I'm doing what's in the parentheses first, and I do the multiplication before I do the subtraction. Now, I need to do, I need to look at this and do what's in the parentheses first. And in parentheses is 10 minus 8, which is 2. So I've rewritten my problem again, but instead of the 10 minus 8, I've replaced it with a 2. And I can do that because 2 is the same thing as that 10 minus 8. And now you can see what your answer is. This is 2 multiplied by itself. 2 times 2, which is 4. These three examples are all related. You see the same numbers appearing in each problem. There's a 4, and there's a multiplication, and a 2, and then there's an exponent of 3 in every single problem. But each one is a little bit different. There are different parentheses in the first two, and no parentheses in this one. We'll work them each out and see how they're different. In the first one, the parentheses tell us to think of this 4 times 2 in the parentheses as a thing in and of itself. So it's the 4 times 2, it's that thing, which gets raised to the power of 3. So I'm going to do what's in parentheses first, the 4 times 2, and that gives me an 8 raised to the power of 3. And 8 raised to the power of 3 means 8 times 8 times 8. And I know that 8 times 8 is 64, so I have to multiply that 64 by another 8. So I'll come over here and do 64 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 6 times 8 is 48. And uh, plus 3 is 51. So I get 512. In the second case, I have to do the 2 cubed first because it's in parentheses. So this is 4 times this. And 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So I can do that in my head. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this means 4 times 8. So I'll write that, 4 times 8. And you can do that in your head, too. It's 32. This last example has no parentheses. So we follow the order of operations. We follow the rules. And the rules say that exponents get done first before the multiplication and division. So I do the 2 cubed first. In other words, it's just like the, the example right above it. The 2 cubed gets done first in the absence of parentheses. So this is 4 times this thing, the 2 cubed, and the 2 cubed is an 8. So I have 4 times 8 again, which is 32.